What's good, Makan fam? This is Henry, and we are back with another episode of Makan. Today, guys, we are checking out fish butchery here in Waterloo. And let me tell you now, we've got a lot of food. So, Brian, run us through what we got, lad. So this place here is opened up by Josh Nyland. If you guys haven't seen him before, he does some beautiful stuff with his hands. Oh, Master Chef Yeah, up. his hands are made for fish, you know? Fish fingers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me take you through the food that we got, guys. First of all, hot and spicy, numbing, the amber white bait. You can still smell all the spices on that. It looks so crispy and tasty, and that's with some garlic mayo. We've got some Murray cod fish and chips. We've got the tartar sauce to chip. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, that's some crystallized salt, hey? Yeah, baby girl. Okay. Yeah, you know it. Right. We've got some smoked scallop mortadella bun meat. Oh man, my mouth watered when I said I love scallops, I love bun me, I love mortadella. What's that guys? It's <laughs> cheese apparently. I love that bad boy and girl. We got some yellowfin tuna meat pie. So that, that looks really interesting. Got a couple rock oysters for you oyster fans. And look at this beautiful concoction mate. This here is a yellowfin tuna double cheeseburger with bacon. So the cool thing about this place is like you can get things like meat pies, bun mees and even burgers but the thing is it's all kind of coming out of the ocean so in this in this cheeseburger, come have a look at this cheeseburger it looks like a cheeseburger like from you get from Macca's yeah what? but it's not actually a cheeseburger you get from Macca's no way this patty is actually made of fish and the bacon is made of fish Murray Cod bro it's so a tuna and Murray Cod burger so right tuna here and Murray Cod. sorry I don't want to like you know compare it to McDonald's but I'm just saying a burger off the bat and even with this bun meat like have a look at this thing that thing is full of seafood it's not even meat or chalua you know that ham stuff none of that do you guys want to watch me smell it yeah I think you do sniff it man delicious let's eat Alrighty, people, we're gonna start here with the barn me. Me and Henry are gonna share one. Yeah, that's jam packed, hey. That is proper jam packed. Woo! Oh, look at that bad boy. So, smoked scallop, mortadella, barn me. And like parfait liver or something? Is that what it is? Parfait liver in it? Yeah. And so, mate, you can just see everything in there. That looks so delicious. That veggies look so beautiful and fresh. Nice thick carrots. Oh man, let me give it a bite. We've got some chilies in here, by the way. That is delicious. Is it? Oh, the vegetables paired with the fish. It's very different to a pork roll, that's for sure. I'm gonna buy it and try this. That is very different. It's very different to a pork roll. Vegetables cut in. Oh, the texture is very similar. You get that savory bite straight yeah. away out of it. But you know that it's not, it's not pork, it's you fish. You definitely know it's not pork. It's definitely fish even. Or seafood, yeah. Yeah, it's like a blended seafood kind of flavour, right? Mince almost. Nice transformation or an alternative to a pork roll. Although it is a little bit dear. This one here was 24, 24 bucks, bucks for a roll. Mm. So I mean, with the rising prices of pork rolls anyway, to try something new is worth it. Alright guys, so we have the double yellowfin tuna burger with bacon. So. The bacon's not real bacon, it's bacon made from Murray Cod. So everything in this burger is not meat. It's not meat, it's fish. So if you're pescatarian, this one's for you. Let's have a bite. But I can't believe this is not meat. Like this is how I believe it's not butter. Bro, this is this is not fish bro. They're lying to you, it's not fish. Because like it's ridiculously like the texture of the fish, I don't know how they made it like be the same texture as beef, but it's really nice. The cheese is nice and melty. The sharpness from the pickle and the mustard cuts off the fattinesses and then the richness from the fish and the cheese. And the sauce just melts everything together. And the bacon is nice and crispy too, the fake bacon. And the bun's nice and soft, sweet as well, because it's a, uh, um, yeah, would recommend. All right guys, check it out. I've got the hot and numbing yamba white bait. So white bait is like these little fish that you can eat whole. Check this out. That's a whole little fish, man. And they've given us this sauce to go with it. This is a garlic mayo that they have here. Look at 
of this. Mm. All right. You can feel a bit of that the hot and numbing stuff happening in the in the salt, but that garlic aioli is is strong. That's a strong garlic flavor, but the fish is like soft, and you don't taste any of the bones in it. But I'm gonna go for another one anyway. Yamba white bait. Didn't know I could eat a whole fish like this. Mad. Let's go. Yo. Well. Yeah. All the boys had all the fancy stuff. I'm just going with the classic if you don't like you know fancy stuff. But they got the maricard fish, nicely battered. The battered looks amazing, man. It looks so good. Let's squeeze some lemon, put some slow-mo action on this, guys. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Cut into this. Look, look at that. That's fried perfectly. Oh. Jeez. Look at that, guys. This smells amazing. Let's taste it. Get some um, tate sauce, slab it on like that. I don't usually use utensils, but you know, for the views, for the fans. The chips are nicely salted. We're gonna go into the fish now. Oh my goodness. Here we go, guys. That's enjoyable. I like good fi uh, fish flavor you can tell that it's not like frozen fried it really nicely it's good I, I like it it's not not bad guys if you want something like a classic you can go with your fish and chips can't go wrong with that you guys jealous yeah oh yeah man that's good that's good sauce i reckon it's house made house made sauce they made the sauce by themselves all right, guys, check it out. I have myself here the yellow fin tuna meat pie. Oh wait, I just realized that my son is on. <laughs> yellow fin tuna meat pie. Apparently, inside we've got the uh, caramelized onions. We have the tuna, and then we've also got some black pepper gravy inside as well. Ch check that out. Gonna get the crust. Oh. Yes, all right, wait. They gave us some tomato sauce. Look how much tomato sauce they gave for us, bro. Look at Let's appreciate the glaze on this pie. Look at that. Look at that. All right. I'm gonna eat the way you're supposed to eat a meat pie. Got myself some salsy pie. Mmm. Whoa. Crust is flaky. Oh, man. And so buttery, too. But you can taste the creaminess of the of the filling. Look at that. It's so juicy. What the heck, bro? That doesn't look like fish. No, it doesn't taste like fish. Again, they did it again. If you eat the meat by itself, you can taste the tuna. You can taste the tuna. But when you're eating it together like this, it's just harmony. So everything just like plays on each other, but it's so creamy and buttery. That's, that's all like, that's the main words from there. For sure. All right, guys, so now we've got oysters. Yeah, I've got four, Brian's got 12. Yeah, so I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna eat 12, and then gonna eat four. All right, so apparently there are four types of oysters. These are the Tathara, you got the Clyde, you got the Moonlight, and you got the Marimbula. Oh, yeah. So I don't think we'll have one of each. I reckon we'll just crack one and uh, try it first. Try it first. All right, so which one do I eat? I reckon we'll try the Tathara first. Sure. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Good soup. Wow. It's already lemony. Yeah, it is already lemony. It's, um, it definitely, there's no differentiation to the oyster taste, I think. Like, it's very, uh, how do I say, briny. Mm. This but one's a bit salty and a bit creamy. It's not salty, creamy, but it tastes fresh as. Like, you could see that. We just shoved that at the table. That's a pretty fresh oyster. The only thing, that, I don't know, some people might be missing could be a little bit of vinegar just to cut that saltiness a little bit. Let's try another one, bro. Let's try another one? Who cares about the rest of the guys? Oh, this one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that one. This one's really nice. It's really good. Which one was that? Like, the Moonlight. The moonlight. moonlight. It's yeah, so a lot more creamy, right? A lot more creamy. A lot more creamy. I'm not as salty. Not as salty. 
Well, that slows down so nicely. The lemon cut through really well. And it's bitey as well. So yeah, like, a bit of meaty, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe right. we should share it with everyone we else. Share with everyone, else. <laughs> everyone grab an oyster, huh? Okay, guys, so that was our episode at the Fish Butchery. So don't forget to check these guys out. The food was hella sick. The seafood was so, so fresh, super fresh, and everything was just pretty tasty. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on that notification bell for more content. We're going to be releasing more and more videos soon. Don't forget to also check us out on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. We're posting more content on TikTok as well. So don't forget to check that out, and we'll see you guys soon.